Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2020. This is Ron Moore, and I meant to do this video yesterday, but I wasn't feeling too good for, throughout most of the day, so I, but very late than never, I mean, I wanted to do this on New Year's Eve to end uh, the year with this video, but whatever. Um, so I'm uploading it right now, today, January 1st, 2020. I hope everybody had a safe and ECW New Year. Hopefully 2020 will be an ECW year as well. Uh, 2019, as you know, was a very banner year, statistically speaking, and in other ways for me as well. It was a great year. And, yeah, it was a great year for me on YouTube and outside of YouTube. And so, yeah, um, I had a lot of great times in 2019 and uh, there were some uh, not so great times either but mostly good the good outweighed the bad so let's talk about those things the good and the well, mainly the good I guess we should talk about all right so at the beginning of the year I um, I think it was the beginning of 2019 or maybe at the end of 2018 I don't remember exactly I started streaming on twitch so I started uh, getting into Twitch and how to learn that, be more familiar with Twitch. So I may be talking about some Twitch stuff here in this video as well. But uh, at the beginning, I know in February, I did a test stream on Twitch that I imported over to YouTube. And I started getting more familiar with Twitch. And today, I think I have like maybe 31 followers. Um, so I'm slowly uh, getting more followers on Twitch, but it's all good. I still like to Twitch on all three platforms YouTube twitch and mixer and I would get to mixer a little bit later on I started the LP of Metal Gear Solid the twin snakes that I use from world of ECW plays or world of long plays uh, so it wasn't me playing some of this footage of this game footage that I do uh, you can tell if it's from me or of, from someone that allows reuse of the footage through Creative Commons and you will find that out in the description box of each video that I upload, but I did do an LP of the Twin Snakes on GameCube, and that was pretty fun to do. I've always loved Metal Gear Solid the Twin Snakes. Very fun game. I didn't have the means to do it myself, so I used World of Long Plays footage. And also, um, I will talk, I'll also be talking a bit about the, my SC2K channel as well, but that will be on a separate one, actually, a separate video where me and maybe Mexico and Lady Zelda will talk about our year on SC2K. So stay tuned to that. Stay tuned to that channel where we will talk about the year in review for SC2K 2019. But I may also be talking a little bit about SC2K on, on this video as well. But for a more in-depth review, in-depth uh, view of uh, what we did on the SC2K channel check that out um, when that video is uploaded maybe later on this week on the SC2K channel I'll post a bulletin on, under the uh, I'll, I'll post it under the community tab on this channel for those of you who are interested but I did continue or start over pretty much uh, the uh, LP of Ocarina of Time on the SC2K channel for those of you who remember in December 2018 the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time LP was taken down due to copyright strikes from someone that wasn't happy with me using their footage even though I gave them credit for it in the description box but that is why I mainly use World of Long Place footage because they don't care that you use their footage as long as you give them credit for it so alright moving on uh, I also did a let's check out of Goof Troop back in March uh, a goofy game uh, to say the least um, and so it was interesting to check that out I uh, always loved the cartoon, but I never actually got to play the game until then. Um, and also in March, Brian Trusty created the new ST2K intro, which is an awesome intro, so thank you again, Brian Trusty, for that. Um, and throughout the year, I continued my uh, Metal Gear Solid of the Twin Snakes LP. I did another live stream of Metroid in ECW mode, and it's always fun to live stream Metroid every once in a while, especially when using the Narcus Sword cheat in ECW mode. That was cool. And also in March, I did a Let's Check Out Spiritual Warfare, which is a Bible-based game 
very interesting to say, say the least. It really kind of uh, imitates The Legend of Zelda, which I like. So it was kind of cool to check that game out. Uh, I did, I continued, I think, yeah, I think I was continu continuing my live stream of A Link to the Past from all the way from like September, October 2018. I was slowly trying to beat the game in, in uh, various uh, live streams and I, there was uh, a part six or part seven, I forgot what the final part was, where I finally beat A Link to the Past. And it was cool to live stream that game. I did a live stream of uh, Super Street Fighter 2. I did that multiple times actually throughout the whole year. And in March, I did a live stream called Contradicting Myself. Contradicting Myself. Because I'm straight out of Contra. I live streamed with Contra and Super Contra. And Mega Man 3 is the bonus game in the end. That was fun. A lot of these live streams I did this year was very fun. And I'll get more into that toward the end of the video. I also did uh, a live stream with Simon's Quest and... This is where I was learning how to use Streamlabs. So I finally learned, learned how to use Streamlabs to make my streams look better and to get notifications and alerts and all that stuff. That was fun to do. That was fun to learn Streamlabs, even though it don't work perfectly all the time, but it's still cool. I did a uh, NES Castlevania Marathon as well. I did Simon's Quest 1, 2, and 3. And I, I know I recently did Mario Brothers NES Marathon for Christmas Eve, but I did it back in March also, March 30th, 2019. Uh, that was a very interesting and fun live stream. That's the longest stream I think I've ever done. Six hours and 45 minutes. I had a couple of trolls come in there. One person got mad because I was cheating, but I didn't care. We got rid of him. And there was another troll who said, I can't tell which is worse, the commentary or the gameplay. I think I'll go with the commentary or something like that. <laughs> you know, and but uh, we didn't feed him. He left before long. He, that's the, that, I think that's all he said. But it was still funny the way he worded that but I knew he was a troll and it's like yeah okay whatever and but at least he was creative unlike the other troll that would come in and say stop cheating why are you cheating and we've talked about this before if you're cheating in a single player game that's your business just as long as you don't cheat in a two player or multiplayer game or trying to cheat to achieve a world record if you're cheating just to get through the game and have fun man go for it you may not beat the game legit but I play to have fun I don't necessarily play because I have to beat it uh, legit or I have to break a world re world record. So it was funny though to see that guy get butt hurt. Oh stop cheating and someone finally uh, I think it was Goblin or Danny that finally banned him. So that was fun to uh, to see but that was a fun live stream. It was frustrating because the controls were lagging because you ha I have to have my emulator in front of my OBS studio to reduce the controller laggage. I didn't know that at the time, so that's why I was cheating to get through the game to help me out better. It was still challenging, though, with me falling off the platforms, and so I had to use cheats to like even out the difficulty. But it was still fun to do. Um, and I did an April Fool's joke. Um, I'm surprised it didn't get downvoted at all. Um, a duet live Super Street Fighter 2 on the Tiger handheld. Um, which I did not do. It was a uh, April Fool's prank, and actually live streamed Super Street Fighter 2 on the uh, SNES, and it didn't garner the amount of butt hurt. I don't think it garnered any butt hurt at all. The April Fool's video that garnered some butt hurt recently, or in recent years, was uh, last year, I think, with the, or maybe the year before that. I forgot when it was. It was some time a while back. Um, it was a uh, uh, April Fool's of me about to check out full house for the tiger handheld and man it got a lot of thumbs down someone told me to take down the trash video and <laughs> someone really got butter and go for it um all right so and i also live streamed castlevania 3 dracula's curse on twitch and i live streamed wcw nwo revenge on the rom World channel as well and on sc2k that was fun to do this is in april and april was a very interesting month because that was when I would go to Mexico for the first time ever getting out of this country the first time ever getting on the airplane and finally meeting the woman who would eventually become my girlfriend in person and so that was a very very ECW month and uh, for my personal life and for YouTube uh, in April I continued to uh, stream and try to beat A Link to the Past. I did eventually beat A Link to the Past. I don't, I think part eight, part nine or 10 might've been the last one, I don't know. I'm looking at the, the video uh, history here. 
or under my library in, in my YouTube studio. In April, I continue to play the Twin Snakes. Um, I think the day before I left for Mexico, I did a, oh yes, that's right, a live stream of WrestleMania 2000 celebrating my 1,000 subscriber milestone. It was in April, I think 10th, 11th, or 12th, where I got 1,000 subscribers on my channel. Thanks to people like, like I mentioned in my thank you video. Um, Chaos, Nitro, Goblin, Brian Trusty, and a slew of other people that I mentioned in that video. Um, I was in Nitro's live stream when it happened because I was like at 9.50, 9.55, and he was saying, guys, go over to Ron Moore's channel, show him some love. If you love what he does, subscribe to him, help him get that 1K. And then sure enough, it did. It worked. I got 1K, and that was an awesome moment. And while I was in Mexico, I checked my phone, my YouTube app, and I saw that I was able to use the community tab, finally, the community tab, because I wanted to use it before, and I was like, how come I can't use it? How do these people have posts in the community post? And someone, I think someone told me, or I had to look it up, you had to have at least 1,000 subscribers. And so that's a cool perk to have, and there's a cool milestone to reach. So thank you guys again for helping to reach 1K. As of this video, I have 1,200 subscribers, so hey, it's not all about the numbers, but it's still good to reach that milestone. Thank you guys very much. And I, uh, sometime when I got back from Mexico, I live streamed in April, April 23rd, uh, Mega Man Marathon, uh, just 2, 4, and 5, because those are the ones I cared to play. I didn't care to play the other Mega Man games, 2, 4, and 5. That was about 5 hours and 13 minutes long, uh, and that was fun. Um, I streamed at Mario 3 again, this time on Twitch, back in May. And on May 9th, 2019, it was the 20th anniversary of Third Strike's releasing the arcades in Japan, I believe. So me and my friend Brian, not Brian Trusty, another guy I know in real life named Brian, who's uh, like a Street Fighter guru, pretty much. Um, we, me and him did the low-budget reviews of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. He did the footage for that, and that was a pretty good review. The first low-budget review in a while. You don't hardly see those anymore, the low-budget reviews, which has been around. Uh, it, re it originated in like 2007, 2008 during the beginning of my YouTube career. So that was fun. Um, May 11th, I live streamed Little Nemo, the Dream Master. I love that game. I may stream it again sometime soon because it is a fun game. And yes, I did cheat to beat it. Sue me. Um, I live streamed Shadowgate again on May 13th. I love Shadowgate. It never gets old. Um, I live streamed Mario 3 again on May 14th, this time on uh, it's strictly YouTube. May 15th, May 17th, yeah, May 15th and the 17th, I live streamed Deja Vu. I think this is the stream where I didn't have background music, or at least part one of Deja Vu, I didn't have background music, and I didn't realize it until the stream uploaded, and no one said anything during the stream, during the commentary. And I'm like, guys, why didn't you say anything? And they said, oh, well, we just didn't really notice or care, we just enjoyed your commentary. I'm like, geez, is my commentary that good? I thought according to that troll, my commentary was bad in my Mario uh, live stream marathon. But whatever. Uh, it was still uh, fun but frustrating to do because Deja Vu, to beat the game, you got to get rid of evidence at the end. And I thought I got rid of everything and apparently it wasn't working because I was still getting arrested when I went to the police station. So that was weird. But whatever. It's still a good game. It was still fun to stream. May 20th, I live streamed Uninvited. And that's the recent video you guys saw from here. Uh, called Rumble Rewind, where I go back and revisit. I revisited Uninvited. I got that idea from Goblin, the Rumble Rewind series, because he would go and re upload streams he did in the past, and while being in the chat room, it premieres, and people get confused thanks to the live stream. I used to get confused too by that, but Goblin did that, I think he said, because live streams or premieres or whatever actually. You get more views from that, statistically speaking, maybe according to the algorithm, I don't know. But I got the idea and I thought it'd be cool to go back and revisit some of my old content. Not just live streams, but videos. And chill in the chat room with some people that care to revisit and we could talk about it like old times. Or they may not have noticed that video and they can discover it through the Rob Moore Rewind and watch it there. So that's why... I'm, I started the Rumble Rewind series, and I think uh, I would definitely do more of that going into 2020. That'd be fun to do. So I started that with Uninvited. 
on, uh, it was Christmas Eve Eve. I think it was, but I did that. Yeah, Christmas Eve Eve, uh, Monday, December 23rd. I did the Raw Moore Rewind of Uninvited. Um, but that original live stream aired on, on, on my Raw Moore channel, a three-hour stream back on May 20th. So, Uninvited is an ECW game. That was a fun stream to do. It really was. Um, I did a live stream, a duet live of Mortal Kombat for the SNES on May 25th. That was fun to do. It was different. Um, that, that game is more arcade perfect than the Genesis version because the Genesis version was popular because of the blood and gore that uh, was allowed in that game. So the SNES port obviously was not as popular because Nintendo censored a lot of stuff, but I still enjoyed live streaming that game, and it still looks more to the arcade as far as the mechanics and the graphics and how, how it looks. It looks better on the SNES and it actually does on Genesis, but the Genesis port was more fun because of the blood and gore and the secret cheats you can unlock. But I still enjoyed live streaming Mortal Kombat, the original for the SNES. I did a live stream of F-Zero on June 3rd. I believe that was requested by Small Tummy Wonderful, AKA Danny. F-Zero, fun stream to do. It was it inspired Krusty Dusty's game reviews, or just Krusty Retro now as he's known, to live stream F-Zero as well. Um, I think it was my friend Carla who requested that I live stream Super Mario World. I started that stream on June 10th, and that has, I think, three parts to it. I finished it up on June 19th. Mario World, a great Mario game. I still prefer Mario 3, but Mario World still a great game, and I enjoyed doing that stream. That was fun to do, so thank you, Carla, for requesting Mario World. Thank you, Danny, for requesting F-Zero. I live streamed the Super Metroid probably for the 10th time on YouTube including the S2K channel. On June 28th, do it live Super Metroid on the Rumble War channel. The game is always, always fun to stream. Yeah, it's safe to say I'm going to stream that game again in 2020. Um, I did, for the first time in a long time, I did a long time no play, uh, David Robinson Supreme Court. And a game I haven't played in forever. I did that on June, no, July 2nd. Uh, for those of you not familiar, long time no play. If you go to my playlists, you'll see a different series of videos I've done over the years. Long time no play is a series that I do where I play a game for the first time in forever and the first time in a long time. David Robinson's Supreme Court was a basketball game I played back in the, in the day and actually enjoyed. Um, it probably didn't age well today, but it was still fun to go back and play it. And my goodness, I wasn't good at it if you go back and uh, watch that. I, I was real rusty at it, but it was still fun to stream. I always thought it was called David Robinson Supreme Court Basketball. But it turns out it is not. It's just called David Robinson's Supreme Court. I get it now. Get it? Supreme Court? Alright, so then basketball? Yeah, so anyway, uh, that was fun to do. Um, let's see here. Um, I continued throughout the summer of the Twin Snakes. Um, I did a live stream of NBA Jam, the original SNES, back on July 10th. That was real fun to do. I enjoyed playing NBA Jam, a game that was so fun to play back in the day uh, with my friends, and it was fun to live stream it as well. I premiered Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Part 1, on July 25th. I played through that game for the first time in a long time. Jeez, I'm freaking rusty at it. But it was freaking fun to do, and I know Tibbs enjoyed me playing through that game. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of ECW. A very fun game and I was so rusty at it but it was fun getting through it. I had to look at YouTube to get some help sometimes. There was some, I was playing on normal and I was getting my butt kicked at it but I eventually got through it. Um, so I premiered that on July 25th and I finished it uh, I think I probably get to finish it probably October if I remember correctly. I don't know. We'll find out here in a minute. And then on July 17th actually it's before that. Yeah. July 17th is when I finished Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. And then the 25th, this in July, around the, that third of third week of July is when my girlfriend came to visit me from Mexico. And uh, so yeah, that was that was real good. And then during that time I had already, I think I had it saved uh, before she even came to the States uh, to go live and premiere on July 25th. So that was pretty cool. And that first part was fun to watch. And how I fit is an hour and 42 minutes long. Yeah, that LP was pretty fun. I might, I may do a Rumble or a Rewind of all that. Maybe all the videos put 
kind of all put together because the, these videos are long and I'm going to sit there for hours and hours on end. Uh, but that's definitely fun to revisit. Uh, I may do a rewind of that sometime in the premiere. Um, and I continued at that throughout uh, the end of summer. And like I said, it probably ended in October. I'm, I'll probably find out here in a minute. Um, I did a live stream of NBA Jam Tournament Edition, August 13th. I didn't have fun with that one. I, I love that game better, but I didn't have as much fun with it live streaming as I did the original NBA Jam because of, I guess, all the... Uh, the, the CPU is more difficult, and I try to use the hotspots and, and some other uh, cheats and advancements, and man, I, it seems like the CPU is very shady and cheating, so, but it was still fun to do because Tournament Edition is ECW, NBA Jam ECW Edition. All right, and I did a another live stream of Contra on August 19th, and August 24th, I did a NES Night Chill stream where I played some various NES games about three hours. Double Dragon 2 was one of them. I might have been Contra, Super Contra, Mega Man 3. I forgot what I streamed. I gotta go back and see that. But that was fun to do. It's just a chill night of me live streaming NES games. August 26th, Do It Live Tech Mobile. That was fun. I was getting my butt kicked out of it at first. Real rusty at Tech Mobile. And then Mega Dan came in the chat room, gave me some advice. And this is where I quoted something that Mega Dan loves to this day. I said, I'm not playing very ECW right now. And so Mega Dan just starts rolling every time I say that now because it just became a funny quote that he liked um, and yes for the first time ever I got to live stream Capcom versus SNK2 on August 27th I've been streaming that various times and I'm going to stream it again um, Capcom versus SNK2 a three hour stream where people watch the CPU go at it I'm hope hopefully I'll have some somebody play some two player action with me someday um, I did beat the CPU in one live stream, but I really would like to see the CPU go at it. And people can request matches, request the grooves, request the stages they want the fighters to take place in, request uh, whether there be a single match, a three on three match, a ratio match, whatever. CVS2 on PS2 is always fun to stream. I, I like to stream that every once in a while. August 29th, I started my series, uh, my 12th anniversary live stream series, the three day stream. Celebrate my 20th. 20th. Jeez. Feels like it. 12th anniversary of my Ron Moore channel. I streamed, I think, various games. I forgot what I did. Capcom SK2, I'm sure it's one of them. That last part was five hours long. Yeah, that that was one of the parts where I live streamed CBS2. And Goblin says, Man, you're streaming hard tonight. I said, Yeah, I am. This is my third and final uh, part in the 12th anniversary live stream series. So September 2007 was when I actually started. And I thought I'd do a three-part series uh, from August 29th until August 31st. So, yeah, that was awesome. September 7th, I streamed S S CBS 2 again. Um, September 10th, I'm, <laughs> I'm still at Metal Gear Solid 2 here, part 6. That was where I, I think I, I'm not sure if that's where I... No, sometime after I beat Saldus in the Harrier. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, that, I was getting my book hit in that game so bad. It was so funny to watch. I live streamed the original SmackDown on PS1 on September 11th. Also on September 11th, I live streamed Mega Man 2 for the NES. It never gets old. Live streaming Mega Man 2. Also the next day, September 12th, I live streamed Mega Man 3. Uh, September 14th, I streamed CBS 2 again. Uh, September 16th, I live streamed Mega Man 4 on Twitch. And on the 17th, Mega Man 5 on Twitch. September 18th, I live streamed Section Z on Twitch. Twitch, uh, Section Z is a game made by Capcom, kind of underrated. Uh, it, it is very challenging, though, but it, it's not a bad game. Check that out. Section Z, or Section E, as in CW. September 19th, I live streamed Metroid on Twitch. Parts 1 and 2. Uh, September 19th. I don't know. I, yeah, it might be the same day I streamed on Twitch. I, I would. This is during the time where I would stream a lot on Twitch and import onto YouTube. Also on September 19th, I live streamed Galaga on Twitch. That was fun to do. Galaga, old school classic. Galaga never gets old. Uh, September 20th, Super Metroid again. This time on Twitch, on Twitch. September 21st, Capcom vs. SNK2 again. September 22nd, Super Metroid Twitch Stream Part 2. And here's a fun one. The first time ever live streaming this game. 
GoldenEye for Nintendo 64 on September 22nd. A three hour stream. That was fun. That was ECW. And ECW live stream. And yes, I did use cheats. Because man, it was so, it's so fun to play through that game. And just use all the cheats. The paintball mode. That's not really cheap, but the paintball mode. And then the invisibility. Invincibility. All this crazy stuff you got to see. Very fun to do. And I also did the LP of GoldenEye last year on the SC2K channel. Which we'll talk more about in the SC2K gear review. That's going to be fun to do. Um, September 23rd, I am still continuing. Metal Gear Solid 2. Sons of Liberty, Part 7. Um, the final part of my Super Metroid Twitch stream on September 27th. And October 18th, do it live of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. 100% speedrun part 1 done by Dagger. And he finished that, uh, I think a few weeks ago, as recently as a few, a few weeks ago. It took a while because we were just busy between October and December. But he did finish it. And so that was pretty cool. Um, October 17th, time to play Arsenal Material Liquor 3, Daughters of Freedom, Part 9. <laughs> part 9 of my Metal Gear Solid 2 stream. That was when uh, Raiden, I think, was held captive in Arsenal gear. And, uh, yeah, that was... Man, I was getting my butt kicked in that because I had forgotten how to get past that part. Okay, October 23rd was my first of live streams of me trying to beat Contra without dying. I failed the first two streams. The first stream was October 23rd. Um, I finished Metal Gear Solid 2 on October 24th. Uh, I did some more SNK, uh, CBS 2 live streams. My live stream of Contra No Death Run Attempt Part 2. Uh, I'm confused here. I, maybe I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't remember. I'm looking on here. I can't even find Part 2. Uh, because I see Part 3 here. This Part 3 was the stream Jordan where I actually did beat it without dying. That was uh, October 30th. That was pretty cool. But I'm looking at my video history here. Maybe I did it before I just didn't call it uh, Part 2, but whatever. Um, attempt, no, attempt number 3 on October 30th. I beat Contra without dying. Thanks to tips from Mega Dan. It was real good. Uh, awesome moment. One of my fondest moments of 2019 was beating Contra without dying for the first time ever in my life. I enjoyed that a lot. November 6th was very interesting. A live stream of Ninja Gaiden. I beat it using safe states, but I still beat it. It was still very hard thanks to Mega Dan's tips on how to beat the Jock Wheel. Um, man, he's so hard to beat. And then the Demon Statue after that. If you get game over in Ninja Gaiden, as you know, in World 6, you have to start over in 6-1. Not cool. I was not about to do that. So I used safe states. Sue me. November 7th, do it live. Fatal Fury 2 on the Sega Genesis. I love live streaming this game off and on, and it was fun to do it here again. Also, on the same day, I live streamed Super Mario Bros. 3. If you guys had not seen the Gaming Historian's video of Super Mario Bros. 3, go check it out. Awesome video. On November 13th, I live streamed Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior for SNES. That was very fun to do, except the bosses are cheap. Like fighting Vega and Bison, but still a fun game to play overall. November 17th, as you guys know, I did the thank you video, thank you guys for your support and all that good stuff, and I got some positive feedback and um, some comments on that. Thank you guys very much for a great ECW year. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, November 28th, Thanksgiving live stream. I forgot what I streamed there. I think various games. I'm not sure. Capcom vs. SK2, I'm sure it's one of them. Um, and let's see here. Um, I did a live stream of the original Ninja Turtles on the NES on December 1st. That was great to do, and yes, I did cheat. I tried to beat it, I think, without cheating, and then I took a break, came back with ECW mode, so that was fun. Uh, part 2, the conclusion of the live stream speed run was finished by Dagger on December 7th. Check that out. The live stream of Turtles in Time was done on December 9th. Very fun stream to do. Byron from the Skipper Rogers Facebook group was in that one. That was cool that, to see him finally make one of my live streams. December 16th, I did CBS 2 again. I used to do CBS 2 every Saturday at the request of Tony Livestream Skittles, but I just, um, I think I lost interest in doing it every Saturday, or not many people cared. Um, but that don't mean I'm going to stop doing 
CPS2 live streams. I would definitely do a lot more of those in the future. And uh, but as far as doing it every Saturday, it's just not going to happen. Also, maybe because of other stuff I got going on, or I just want to rest when I get off work. Let's see here. Uh, what is next? The Rumble Rewind, as I mentioned earlier, of Uninvited, premiered on December 23rd. And then on Christmas Eve, leading into Christmas Day morning, Christmas morning, Mario Brothers NES Marathon again. Mario 1, 2, and 3. This time I did a lot better because of no laggage in the controls. So there you go. And then the last stream, last thing I did in 2019, as you guys know a few days ago, do it live of Tetris and Dr. Mario, which I failed miserably at, but it's fun because those games are still fun to play and still fun to do. And as I mentioned earlier, I did start streaming on Mixer as well. And yeah, so I thought I'd just branch out and give Mixer a chance. I think I have six followers right now. I think I've been streaming on Mixer maybe since November. I'm not sure. October, November. Um, for a little while now. And so, yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and stream on YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. So, time to mix it up. And so that's my year on 2019, and I met a lot of new friends, I got a lot of new subscribers, a new audience, and it was very fun. And I'm also now trying to sell merchandise, I haven't sold anything yet, but uh, part because the merchandise is not uh, that great right now, I just got my, my Rawmore logo that my friend Blue Rose made for me, a new Rawmore logo, uh, that's it, um, and I need to maybe come up with some more design ideas. It's a good design, but I need to come up with also something else to add to that on um, the t-shirts, hoodies, and coffee cups, and uh, cell phone covers I'm trying to sell on Teespring. Yeah, I mean, what a great year in 2019. Statistically, statistically I can't even say the word. Statistically speaking, 2019 was the best year I ever had on YouTube. And so, yeah, um, I never thought I would go to Mexico twice last year, and, um, so my personal life was pretty good. 2019, definitely not a bad year. Had some sad moments, especially one in particular I feel like talking about here. But um, yeah, I uh, overall, 2019 was a great year. And especially on YouTube in particular, especially on the Raw More channel in particular. Um, the live streams have gotten more fun to do. And I want to thank you guys very much for a great ECW 2019. You guys definitely helped make the year pretty awesome so thank you very much i hope you guys have a great 2020 and i am out of here thank you for watching and listening i'm ron moore god bless and take care